Right, let's go. Semi final. Semi final. Um, Eternal Empire. Awesome, awesome macro map. Look at the size of this map and look how easy it is to hold three bases on this off the bat. You know, your expo in here, in here. This, who's going to push up this ramp? Nobody in their right mind. It's suicide. So, um, if ever a map was, you know, well set to give us a big old macro game. It is this one. Uh, let's introduce the players. It's Cooper Meister up in the top right. It is Royal Blue in the bottom left. Both are playing random and both are Zerg. I'm not sure that Royal Blue is going to be happy about that because, of course, Coop is uh, definitely um, Zerg is his strongest suit. It's the one that he's played the most. Whereas Royal Blue, um, it wasn't Royal Blue a Tyrant? No, a Proto? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, but he wasn't a Zerg. So uh, we'll see if that, you know, Turns out to be uh, a good thing, a bad thing. Who knows? Royal Blue hovering about here has gone pull first, um, and the hatchery just going down now. Whereas this pull for Coopermeister is quite a lot later. So Royal Blue's pull uh, finished up already. He has got the gas building, but it wasn't a gas first build. So we'll see. He's going to certainly get some lings out um, earlier than his opponent. Hard to tell yet. Um, how much earlier his speed will be. Uh, so this might just be a safety pull. You know, often when you're against Zerg, um, yeah, yeah, you know, you do put on, uh, you, just, you just go pull first by default in case they've gone pull first. Um, the overlords of uh, Coopermeister, I think, saw these moving across. And um, yeah, Coopermeister's got enough lings in position. You know, it's a big old map, uh, and Cooper already has enough lings to see this off. It is actually Coopermeister's speed that is going to be done first. No speed here in production for Royal Blue, but instead a Roach Warren is the choice. Um, yeah, no no workers. I'm not sure why there's Ardle Liva. Uh, Ardle Liva? Um, you know what I meant. I meant Idle Larva, didn't I? Although I quite like Ardle Liva, and I, I think it might be that from now on. Ardle Liva is never what you want to see in the first five minutes of a Zerg game. Um, oh, these uh, speed lengths are going to kill this because he just doesn't have the army to see it off. I don't think. Well, maybe he does, but no, they're in production. Um, this survives. Interesting. Okay, um, does survive. Needs to get a queen over there for a transfuse. That would be ideal. Royal Blue currently supply blocked. Must have lost an overlord on the other side of the map. Um, now that he's got roaches coming out, uh, you know, roaches just beat lings. They, they just do. They're armoured. Uh, and in the early game, you know, roaches can just, they tank so hard against the lings. Um, then once you've got a handful of roaches out, you're, you're pretty safe. But he's left this exposed and it's on very low health. So Cooper can just kill this, but he isn't. But he, what, 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 I, I mean... I have no idea what either player was doing there. Cooper easily could have sniped this. You know, it's, it's only got 300 health. All he had to do was right click on it. And similarly, Royal Blue could surely see those links for ages and didn't really respond. Very surprised that there's no Ben links on this map yet. Um, so Royal Blue is going to push out across the map and he does have the bigger army at present. Not that much of it is in Roach though. Um, so we'll see. Gets a good angle for the Ling engagement and does mop up a lot of Coopermeister's uh, Lings. So army supplies right now though look pretty even. Um, yeah, the Lynx around is good on the Roaches and there is Roach support behind it, but I just, with Defender's advantage, the reinforcements are just going to be too much. And Coopermeister is going to push this back. So um, both of these players sort of trading blows at the minute and neither getting any sort of critical damage done. But let's look at this worker count. As this has been going on, Coopermeister has pushed out workers while Royal Blue has not. I don't remember Royal Blue losing significant amount of yeah there you have it he didn't lose lots of workers he simply hasn't built them in the first place so maybe that experience with playing Zerg showing through a little bit um, Cooper Meister the player here that's been able to balance building drones with um, building units as well you know because the army supplies now have tilted hugely in favor of Cooper Meister with that massively superior income he's just been able to afford to push out all the roaches and I think this is going to be GG especially with that hatchery falling uh, 
this, you know, this army even fragmented, it's not going to matter. There's just too much here for Coop and the uh, rope reinforcements, reinforcements coming in. Um, Royal Blue just isn't going to be able to deal with. That is always the challenge with Zerg. It's got to get that balance right between building workers and building units. And it, it is a fine line to walk. Um, and it's a... Uh, <coughs> It's a line that good Zerg players do incredibly well and surprisingly well. It's sneaking in with every kind of round of roaches you build, um, sneaking in one or two of your drones, um, you know, or sneaking in a full round of drones in between rounds of units. Uh, that's what makes the difference generally. Anyway, it is Cooper Meister that takes an early lead and goes 1-0 up.